Live for Shasti. I'm Abby. I'm Matthew. I'm Marcella. And I'm Mia. It's been a fantastic year of serving as your student council officers. We've all made lasting memories here at NMS. Especially this month. The month of June gives end of school vibes. Our fifth and sixth graders participated in field day, our sixth graders went on their second field trip, and our seventh graders enjoyed their special events, which included the seventh grade picnic, the seventh grade dance, and of course, Adventureland. Okay, enough talking. Roll the clips. <laughs>
was an exciting month. And now it's time for us to highlight our final homeroom reps for the of the month. From March, we have Nicholas Chernoff. Stop. Three, two, one. That sure was an exciting month. And now it's time for us to highlight our final homeroom reps of the month. From March, we have Nicholas Chernoff, a seventh grader in homeroom 209. From April, we have a fifth grader, Cora Murray, from homeroom 302. From May, we have Addison Webb, a fifth grader from homeroom 308. And for June, we have Briella Monero, a sixth grader from homeroom 218. Hold up, we're not done yet. I still have autographs to sign. Our student council homeroom representatives play an important role in our school community. These leaders work hard to make our school community a very special place. Thank you to the 2023 to 2024 homeroom representatives for serving in the student council. And there's more to come next year with our newly elected student council officers. Drum roll, please. Tyler Ahalu, President. Colm Murray, Vice President. Samuel Etwaru, Treasurer. Leah Perro, Secretary. And Chloe Vega, Public Relations Officer. And as your president, we have one final order of business. A very special member of the Mineola Middle School community is retiring at the end of this school year. Ms. Sobel has proudly served the Mineola School community for 44 years. And at this time, we would like to give her a proper send-off in Manila style. Better, cue up the video. Hi, Ms. Noble. Happy retirement. Um, I hope you take your entire retirement seriously. Hi, Ms. Noble. Happy retirement. I wish you all the best uh, traveling in your convertible and hopefully your RV in the years to come. Hey, Ms. Noble. Happy retirement. Um, I always have fond memories of when you and I co-taught and you laughed at all my jokes. A great memory that I had with you is when you helped me when I needed help in class and I was struggling on an assignment. Hi, Ms. Noble. Happy retirement. I'm going to miss you and thank you for all the fond memories you gave to me, like when you bought me talkies and also gave me food. I wish you the best and thank you for helping me in ELA and social. Congratulations, Ms. Sobel, on your retirement. There is truly no one more deserving of this time that you're about to get than you. Hi, Ms. Sobel. I love Ms. Sobel because she's always ready to help us. Hi, Ms. Sobel. Thank you for everything you've done for us. You deserve this retirement. Hope you enjoy it. One of my favorite memories was probably Adventureland. Everything was so much fun. Have a wonderful time taking all your fit pictures. I think it, you should uh, move it uh, to Hawaii because you can enjoy it there. And uh, then also, thank you for everything that you've done for me. Bye. Hey Tam, so I'm just here to say happy retirement. I've known you for the better part of a decade now and you know, you've really helped make my career memorable from the fart machines to how to properly attach an air horn to a chair to make it go off. You just kept the laughs coming and I will truly miss you, but I wish you the best and I know you'll hit the road and I can't wait to see all the pictures, but this is not the end for us and I look forward to all our memories in the future. Hi, Miss Sobel. Happy retirement. Thank you for helping me every day when I needed it in social studies and ELA. Hi, Miss Sobel. Happy retirement. When you retire, you should be relaxed and chill because you have worked hard for so many years and thank you for your service. Congratulations, Miss Sobel, on your retirement. You are very motivational and very helpful to keep uh, to help me keep on moving to work harder. I love how you help me when I need it, and you're a great teacher. We'll miss you. And taking as many pictures as you possibly can. We'll miss you dearly in school. You always brightened up not only my day, but all of the kids' days. So I just want you to know that you are so appreciated and will be greatly missed. Hi, Ms. Sobel. Thank you for all you have done. You really deserve this. I think you should buy a nice house by a beach and watch the waves go by. Good memories. Have a nice one. And also when you retire, I consider you buy a big, really big house. Uh, one thing you should do for your retirement is take a one a month trip to Florida. Hey Miss Sobel, happy retirement. We all are thankful for how helpful you are and how much you help us. We will really miss you and hope you have a good retired life. First of all, I want to congratulate you on your retirement and just want to share a couple of my favorite memories with you, Mrs. Sobel. I mean, all those mornings at morning duty when you would share those beautiful photos with me of the sunrise and the sunset, and thankfully I, I was on time all, all those times, so you were able to show me those photos as soon as you'd taken them. Uh, the other thing I remember is when you lent me your comb and hairspray for my mustache, which is really important, or else I couldn't have uh, went on stage and looked my best. I want to wish you a happy retirement and let you know that in your retirement, you'll be able to do all the things you love 
like taking photos, go to the beach. You might even want to help me selling strategy books, right? It's a lot of fun, and you can make a little extra money on the side. Don't tell me when I said that. Lastly, I want you not to forget Mineola and all the wonderful years you had here. You were a great one, Mrs. Sobel. You're going to be missed greatly. Stay classy. Congratulations, Tammy. I don't know what I would do without you. I'm going to miss you so much, uh, but I know that your adventures will continue. I wish you the best of luck. And now it's officially time for the 2023 to 2024 student council officers to sign off. I'm Abby Bennett, signing off. Matthew Allfeld, signing off. Marcelo Patron, signing off. Mia Kim, signing off. And I'm Prashasi Hoya, signing off. <laughs>